Good evening, everybody, and thank you all for coming tonight. Um, this is the last in a summer series um, of events put on uh, to try to educate the Canadian public about the realities of sex work. We had a series of community conversations with sex workers this summer, and this is our final event in that series. Tonight's event is sponsored by FIRST, Decriminalized Sex Work Now, which is a national coalition of feminism, or feminists, sorry, uh, who promote decriminalization of sex work, the BC Civil Liberties Association, PACE Society, and the Spaces a Sex Industry Study at UBC. So, as everybody knows, sex work law reform has been a hot topic in Canada for the last year. Uh, last December 20th, uh, 2013, the final decision on Bedford versus Canada came down, and the Supreme Court of Canada, in a unanimous decision, struck down three of Canada's most harmful prostitution laws. I don't think any of us here believe that the Harper government was going to let that stand, but I don't think any of us were prepared for just how hard or far this government is willing to go in its really insane and misguided attempt to abolish prostitution altogether. In countries where the penalty for prostitution is death, prostitution still occurs. In fact, laws against sex work have only been in existence for about the last 150 years, and they don't work. In Sweden, uh, the much-touted Swedish model has been in effect for 15 years. There's no real evidence that it's reduced the demand for paid sex. And if you think that sex work has ended in Sweden, you should Google Swedish sex worker, and you'll see hundreds of ads Better yet, Google the Rose Alliance, that's Sweden's national sex work organization. But one of the really positive outcomes of this fight has been uh, the growth and the coming together of a national sex work movement in Canada. Canada, as we all know, is an enormous country um, and sex work takes place all across Canada and in different ways, in different places. And there's been sex work organizations across Canada for many, many years. We just didn't talk to each other all that much. Um, but this fight impacts all of us. Every sex worker across Canada is involved in this fight. And so an amazing national movement has come together and that is not gonna fall apart uh, because the fight is gonna continue. Uh, Anti-prostitution campaigners have vigorously promoted the Swedish model as some kind of solution for Canada, as if there's no other model in the world. Um, and one of the models, and the model that we wanted in Canada, is full decriminalization of sex work. And there is one country in the world, one magical country where all the hobbits live, where sex work has been <laughs> That's why hobbits are so fucking happy. <laughs> and that's New Zealand. And so we're unbelievably fortunate tonight to have Catherine Healy here. Catherine is national coordinator of the New Zealand Prostitutes Collective uh, and was a major architect of decriminalization in New Zealand. Before we get to Catherine, um, I'm gonna ask Joyce Arthur to come up and say a few words. Joyce is a founding member of FIRST, Decriminalized Sex Work Now, and she's also the founder and executive director of the Abortion Rights Coalition of Canada, a national pro-choice group. And uh, Joyce is gonna talk to us about some of the parallels between the abortion movement and the sex workers' rights movement. So Joyce. Thank you. 